guys, it's Katie here again from Bella Creativa. Um, back to do a little bit of a project share and tell you about some new things. So the other day I posted a video on this um, expandable file folder and I've already done a flip through of this one. So I'll try and remember to put a link in the description box to this one. Um, but I finished off this one and I wanted to share this one because it's a little bit different. So let me give you a quick flip through this one. This one's in a junk journal style, whereas this one here is more like um, a mini album. So all the inserts are photo um, mats. Um, but this one's more like a junk journal. So I haven't included the inserts as um, photo mats. I've included them as little journals and things like that. So let me show you. Oh, I should say, I also made this to go with it, which um, it doesn't fit because I um, have a habit of overstuffing, but I wanted to show you anyway. <laughs> So this is a little expandable file folder. I've used um, craft cardstock and this is just a bit of scrapbook paper and I've sewn around all the edges. And on the back I've just used some um, ledger paper. I, I might embellish the front a bit, the cover a bit more, but I'm a little bit uncommitted to <laughs> what I want to do, so I haven't done anything. Anyway, these are a couple of little antique buttons from my grandmother's stash and these are some little charms that I made up. I used antique papery um, papers for this which and they're available on Etsy. You can just look at those and I just love antique papery. Anyway, so you open it up and it does this. Ah, I just love that. <laughs> so um, then so there's the expanding file folder and then there's all the little inserts so let me show you all the inserts because this is the fun bit I love this um, I'll leave that one here for now so this is the first one um, so this is antique papery and then um, so this is a little notebook so you just undo it like so oops and try not to get tangled up in the process um, so you just open it up like so and it's got some little papers in here for writing on. So that's my first little insert. So I'll pop that to the side. I won't bore you with putting it all together. I'll put that one there. And then this one here is a Rolodex card and I've put a, um, a pocket on the side here. And then I've just put some tags and envelopes in there. And my latest um, exciting thing is wax seals. So there's, they're everywhere. <laughs> so just music paper and things like that but that's a Rolodex card as you can see and it just fits in there nicely and then I have oh I just made a little envelope and put some bits and pieces in here nothing special about that like, but again another wax seal <laughs> and then I have um, a tag with a big pocket and I've put a couple of small tags in there so that was um, fun. So th this is actually the photo mat and I've just trimmed the edges off to make it into a tag. And then I've got this one here, which is like a little file folder, I guess. So you open this guy up and I've just um, clipped in some tags and um, bits and pieces there. And here I put a little envelope. Um, so this is a belly band and I've just hooked the envelope over the top and then it's got a, a um, tag underneath. So that's just a little little wallet booklet thingy. <laughs> and then I've got another Rolodex card and on this Rolodex card I've put the corner pocket and then just stuck some tags in there and another one of those little charms. And then, oh, so here I have used the little booklet and made a journal. So I have left the journal quite um, plain because I wouldn't fit anything in there if I went to turn on the journal. But So you just open that up and it's got the little corner pockets in here and I've just popped an envelope in there. And then this is um, antique papery. I've got some German dictionary pages because I don't think I'm ever going to manage to learn German. Just some more printouts, antique papery again. This is the honeybee one. I love it. I love it. <laughs> some coffee stain paper, more dictionary page, more of that antique papery. 
might have gone a little over the top on that. Book paper. Um, the centre section here I've made into little pockets, but I haven't actually put anything in there. And that's just the um, paint masking paper. And then it's just all the same again. And then at the back I've put another one of those little corner pockets. And I'm just using this little bulldog clip because I like bulldog clips. Because. <laughs> Okay, so the little next thing in here is another little loaded tag. This one's got two pockets and then I'll just put some more tags and envelopes and paper clips and things in there. So that was fun. It's cute. You can, of course, you can write on the back of that one as well. And then I have another Rolodex card and this one has got another corner pocket on it and another envelope and a tag stuck in there and then some little bits and pieces stuck in here as well. And this one here is a little um, booklet as well so I'd have to pull the paper clip off this one. This is antique papery as well. I think it's called Montreal. Um, but I didn't think it was too far from the honeybee, so I, I rolled with it. <laughs> so this one, this little book opens up and it's got a corner pocket here. And this little guy flips out here. And then there's this long pocket there. And I've just stuffed it with guest checks and tags and bits and pieces. So that was, that's kind of cute and fun. I'll just pop that one over here. On my pile and I think that's all I've put in here yet for now but you know you could put more in there and this is the little um, thing that I couldn't get in there because I got a little bit carried away but this is like um I don't know it's almost like an altered file folder so it's two basically two pages and I've just stitched it together down the middle so open it up and it's got a little tag pocket here that flips out and then there's this long pocket here with some bits in it um, one of those library book um, things and then there's another one here that flips out like so and there's a belly band here with a guest check and bits and pieces in there and then you flip it over and this is a, a long belly band another belly band but it's wider than this one as you can see it's actually this um, this long pocket. Um, I just used it as a belly band, and then there's another flip out here, and this is that antique papery um, that I made into a little envelope, and this has got a little tag in there, and then it flips over again, and there's another one of those corner pockets, and then I've got a bottom pocket here as well. So um, I got a bit carried away with making it so chunky so it won't fit in my expandable file folder but I'm just a little bit in love with this idea of an expandable file folder um, and all the little inserts that go in it so um, let me tell you a little bit more about it um, I originally made this as a set of SVG files so I make a lot of um, SVG files and this is the one that I've used to make this one here um, it's called Expanding File Folder and it's available in my Etsy store if you'd like to go and take a look. So this is for um, electronic cutting machines and this is the book that I refer to and I've done a whole playlist on making this and all the inserts for this one here. Um, so I'll try and remember to link that. But a lot of people were really interested but didn't have electronic cutting machines. So I have also made it as a printable template. So. Um, this is also available in my Etsy store. This is the printable template. So this is the PDF guide that comes with it. So it's just got some information here about the printable templates and the playlist to go and have a look at the um, how I put together the expandable file folder. And then these are, um, are screenshots of the PDF files themselves. So that you can print this out and refer to this if you need to and then the actual templates themselves I'll show you what I've done so I just printed them out on this is kind of like cartridge paper only because I didn't have any um, cardstock that would fit into my printer at the time but I do now but, you know celery so I just printed it out and I cut around it and then I referred to my little um, guide here 
So I just went through and gave each thing the name according to this little guide. So um, for each page, I just wrote down what it was, what the number is, and whether it's the mat or the piece itself. And when it's the mat, I just highlighted it. So then I've just sort of stuck them all together. So there's my Rolodex card and then there's my mat to go on top. So it's pretty easy. And then I just keep all of these together and you can follow my tutorials um, on in that playlist um, because the pieces are obviously exactly the same. It's just that I refer to this booklet where everything's in pink and um, blue, whereas for the printables, um, it's got all the same numbers for everything. So the divider is C1 and C2 and here the dividers are C1 and C2. Um, so everything in here is exactly the same as in here. I just had to reorder it on the page because for the SVG, I can fit, um, I work on a third, um, you know, 12 by 12 inch SVG um, file, but for the printables, I either have to work on A4 or letter, which brings me to the other point. Um, so as a part of the download that you can get, you get this guide and then you get two files. And one file is all of these in A4 size, so you can print it directly onto A4. And the other one is in letter size, so you can print it directly onto letter size paper. Because I know that um, we use different size papers in different parts of the world. So anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know and show you this one because um, I really enjoyed making this one and all the little inserts. So I made all of these inserts using those um, or these printable templates or the SVG files. So it's just using them in different ways. And I suggest that you also go and have a look at this one for some different ideas. But um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys today. So. Um, yeah, really, I just wanted to let you know as well that these are now available as a printable template because there were lots of people who were interested. Uh, so thanks very much for your time today, guys, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.